It's neck and neck as they go towards the line. Liberty Council's got to win it by half a length. Grand Nationals have the habit of providing fairy tale results, and last year's Irish Grand National was a classic example when small county Westmead trainer Dot Love won the race with her mayor, Liberty Council. It was the biggest highlight ever and totally I couldn't believe it. I was in shock and in delight at the same time and I don't think we'll ever forget it and it most likely will never happen again because she was just a wonderful mayor and Ben Dalton was wonderful. They just clicked and it worked out to the best. Boyle Sports will sponsor the Irish Grand National for the first time this year and Ireland's largest independent bookmaker is delighted to support such an iconic race. It's the most historic race on the calendar um, and I think what makes it a beautiful race for everyone to get involved is, is you don't have to be a top trainer, you don't have to be a top owner and you don't have to be a top jockey. I think when you look at it, Barry Garrett, he's never won the race. Willie Mullins, amazingly, has never trained Irish Grand National winner. We're here now in Doddy Love's yard, who of course had that tremendous story 12 months ago. But for us, for a company, we're privileged and honoured to be sponsoring such an iconic race on the Irish calendar. The entries for this year's Boyle Sports Irish Grand National have a quality feel and senior national hunt handicapper Noel O'Brien says it has the makings of a great race. Right the way down you have Horsa won at Cheltenham, you have previous winner of this race and um, no, hugely competitive, looking at 135 at the moment is the bottom to get into it and no, delighted. It, it looks competitive at this stage. Ferry House General Manager Peter Rowe says the two-day Easter festival offers something for everyone. Well this year is with the two-day, the Powers Gold Cup, the Grade 1 on the, mon on the Sunday, which is one of the leading novice races and is a race that's developed over time. And then on the Monday we have the Boyle Sports Irish Grand National. There's plenty from the, from the fashion side. We have the Carton House Most Stylish Lady Competition, Rosanna Davison as judging that along with Brendan Courtney. And again, and plenty of children's entertainment on both days. And children at Fairy House, as always, are under 18s are free. Fairy House is jockey Barry Garrity's local track and it's one of the few races that this decorated rider has yet to win. I have grew up very close to Fairy House and I've been going to... Uh, fairy House to the Eastern Meeting since I was knee high um, and a race I always wanted to win. There's been some great fairy stories in the race down through the last few years. There has definitely with Dot Love won it last year, Thomas Gibney the year before, I think 33 and 50 to 1. Um, it's a bit like the English National, you need a, an awful lot of luck in it um, and it's probably better suited to the lighter weighted horses with the pace to go to keep going that gallop for as long for three and a half mile it's probably handier to be closer to 10 stone than 12 stone so I'd say it suits the ones down the bottom really. One man who has won the Boyle Sports Irish Grand National in the past is jockey Andrew McNamara who says the win gave him one of the best days of his life. Yeah that was a great day of Lucy Cracker a couple of years ago and my agent Gary Cribben did me up a, a montage of it which I have in the hallway so I uh, pass that nearly every day and remind me of it. Yeah, well, there's been some real plenty of quality winners and it even recently enough. Uh, the likes of Papillon and those going on to win the English National. But you do, yeah, the last couple of years has thrown up a couple of surprises and uh, I was glad it did. Some great horses like Arkell and Desert Orchid have won the Boyle Sports Irish Grand National in the past and on Easter Monday we'll find out who joins the race's illustrious role of honour.